Hey Quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back to week three of this fun little video series. If you're just joining, so I am sharing this fun series on this super cute, it's the Fancy Forest Quilt by Elizabeth Hartman. So I've been sharing each week a different block and how I custom quilt it. So if you like these videos, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Over on Patreon, I share videos similar to this, but um, where I go a little bit more in depth and kind of talk to you a little bit more about my machine quilting process. So I just felt like being more generous here, I guess, and sharing a few more of these videos. And this quilt's just so cute. How could I not share more of it here with you? But anyways, today I'll be showing some of the cute hedgehog block and how I custom machine quilt that. Just a few things before we actually get to the quilting on that quilt. I do all of my machine quilting on the Gamel 22 inch machine. You can see it back there. This is all hand guided quilt. Obviously I am using my four in one machine quilting ruler to help me out, but it is all free motion quilting. Um, a few questions that I get asked often before we start. The thread that I'm using on this particular quilt is so fine by Superior Threads and the color number is 402. I think it's called Pearl. And then on my bobbin, I'm using the bottom line thread also by Superior Threads. You can pick up all these products, my ruler, the thread, all of that on my website, peaceandquilt.com. The batting that I am using on this quilt is one layer of the Quilter's Dream Wool. It's really great batting, helps me create some really awesome texture. So I hope you find a little bit of inspiration with this cute little hedgehog today. Make sure to check or to stop back next week where I'll share another fun vlog. And also make sure to check out the other videos that I've shared of this fun little quilt. So on this hedgehog block, of course I want to make the hedgehog look as though he fits in with all the other blocks on this super cute quilt. I want the quilting styles on this to match the styles of quilting that I've done on the other blocks. But because he's a hedgehog, I didn't feel like the feathers that I've done on some of the other blocks were appropriate for him. I felt like there needed to be something a little bit sharper or pointier, whatever you want to say. So. I look at the hedgehog, I see the top of his head, his hair, fur, whatever it's called, and decide to do kind of a feather motif, but a little bit more pointed on the ends. I feel like that gives it more, I don't know, more of that furry hair type of a look. I do, so I mention this often, I love the look of Stitch in the Ditch. Often I'll use my Stitch in the Ditch as my traveling stitch, so I don't necessarily always stitch in the ditch before I start my machine quilting. Sometimes I do have to backtrack and stitch over my stitch line in the ditch a couple of times. This is another time where using really fine thread, like the so fine thread, is a great thing. You know, if I was using a thicker thread here, it's going to make it so if I do have to backtrack or stitch over previous stitch lines, that thread's really going to come out and I'm going to end up with more of like a thready look versus seeing just the texture that I'm creating with my machine quilting. And that's really what I like is the texture that I'm able to create. So the look that I'm going for here, you can start to see now, I'm making them start in the center, the feather, these pointy feather things, starting in the center and moving out from there. So they're all working out from the center. When I move down, after I complete all of his hair, I'll move down and work on his body. Now I'm not going to show this in the video because I have already showed you that straight line quilting half inch spacing, but across his face, again to tie him in with the rest of the blocks on this quilt, I'm going to quilt those straight lines that are about a half an inch apart, just like I've done on the bunny's face. If you haven't seen the bunny video, Watch that one next so you can see what I'm talking about, but outlining around all of the details and then those straight lines half an inch apart on his face. That little section at the top of his face, here you can see it's kind of that 
gold and white print fabric. In that little section, I chose to stitch little tiny pebble circles across there, just a little element to soften it up. And then when I moved down to his feet, I chose to stitch a straight line echo on the inside that's a quarter of an inch on the inside of his leg. So something very simple, but just adding a little bit of quilting there. I hope this video inspires you on your own machine quilting journey. And maybe if you're quilting one of these cute little quilts, you can use some of these ideas. I will be back on Friday with my question and answer series. And again next Monday with another fun little quilt in this Fancy Forest series. See you later, everybody.